So, the USB thing, right? So it sounds like it should be simple, and it almost is, but at first glance, it's really hard to tell the difference between a USB-C and a Thunderbolt port. So we're going to talk about how to tell them apart, what the differences are between them, and answer the age-old question of whether or not you can use both on a PC. You ready to get going? Let's go! Alrighty, so USB-C, right? So we know them, we love them. Mainly because, unlike when most people think of USB, just like you just throw it out there, right? This is pretty much what most people think of, right? The, this one here, right? That the duck bill. And it's a weird thing with the universe, right? There's really only two ways to put this in, and yet it always takes three tries. I've given up trying to figure out why, <laughs> but that's just how it seems to be. And so the beauty of USB C is it doesn't matter because there's no wrong way to put it in. Well, other than putting it in maybe the wrong port. Um, but there are differences and nuances, right? Because heaven forbid it just be one thing. We can't possibly do that. So there's USB-C, which is what that nice round one is, right? The, the easy one to tell, right? That one there. Okay, and then you hear about Thunderbolt. And it's not quite as clear as we would like it to be, but that's okay because we're going to get this all covered. But before we go too far, I do want to just point out that this confusion, if you will, has been around for a long time. Because when you look at the different versions of USB that are out there, and all of these are still out there, you can still use these, uh, you're going to see that you know there, there's a lot of different combinations. And... The other dirty secret is the fact that even with an individual format of the USB connector, there are versions, right? So even with the A, right, which is that one I was just showing you, the, the one we both, most of us think about, even though we know that there's others, there's different versions of this one. Um, like this one's got the white on the inside. Some of them have blue. So it's just important to keep in mind that when you're having problems or when you're shopping for a new computer, a new device, or a cable, you need to read the fine print and you, and you need to think about what, what it is that you're trying to do, like what you're trying to accomplish. Um, so we're going to focus on the USB-C and Thunderbolt confusion. Um, and I'm going to focus mostly on the version 4, which is the most current version right now. Um, so again, understand that there's, right, so I'm talking version 4 USB-C and version 4 Thunderbolt um, because that means that there are were prior versions and there will be future versions. So it's just important to, you know, keep everybody on a level page here. This is what we're talking about. Okay. So let us get started. Let, let, let's, let's talk about why this matters, right? The biggest reason why this matters is because there are some things that you can do some things that you can connect via one that won't work with the other. Now, the good news is that that list has gotten smaller and smaller, but just so that you are aware, if you ever take a device that's a USB-C connector, right? So that that's the round one. Um, and you try to plug it into a USB connection on your computer using the appropriate cable, uh, there are various things that might make it not work. Okay, one could be the version of the USB connector on your computer or on the device, or it could be the version of the plug that you're using. Now, the biggest challenge is the fact that there's no way to look at a plug in most cases and know which version it is. That there's just, there's not a whole lot of information on most of these. Now, actually, if I go back to my title card from today, you will see that sometimes companies do actually, let me bring this back up again. So if you look at this one, right? So you see the little lightning bolt and you see the little, I don't know what to call that, the little tree, let's call that a tree. Um, when you see that, the lightning bolt indicates Thunderbolt and the little tree indicates USB connection. 
like I said, it's not always there. So you can't count on it 100%, but at least when it's there, it's helpful. Now, most people are, if you talk to them, they're going to tell you, you know, well, if you look at your computer or you look at the device and you don't see the lightning bolt, that means it's USB, just, just USB. Um, that's not true anymore because not all the vendors are putting the lightning bolt on it. I don't know why. I don't, it doesn't seem like it would cost them that much more to at least give us one thing that was consistent, but I'm just here to tell you that that's not the case. It's mostly the case. So if you do see it, at least that's a good sign, but if it's not there, it doesn't mean it's not Thunderbolt in general. The other thing that I want to get out of the way really early is this myth that Thunderbolt is only on Mac. That is not true. Thunderbolt also exists in the PC world. So don't, don't, don't buy into the hype. Okay. Now, yes, you, you have to have a fairly new PC in order to possibly have Thunderbolt and you'll have to look at the specs of your computer to find out whether or not it's there because just having a USB-C connector does not mean that it is a Thunderbolt connection. So now let's talk about that. When we're talking about connectors, okay, we're talking about the part that you plug in. So that part there, okay, this, this piece here, that is part one of the puzzle. Okay. Part two of the puzzle is the software, right? Or the drivers that are on the computer and, or the device. You have to have all of those lined up in order to get the right combination. Now, the good news is this is really only a big problem in one direction. If you absolutely need Thunderbolt for whatever device you're connecting, that's where you want to make sure that everything is Thunderbolt and it is the ver same version of Thunderbolt wherever possible. If you can't, okay, if, if it's maybe your computer is one version of Thunderbolt and the device is another, that's not the end of the world. You won't break anything, but the one thing that you probably will lose is a little bit of speed because speed is really the biggest difference between just your standard USB C connection, USB C connector going to a USB driver versus a Thunderbolt USB connection. I know. <laughs> I apologize. This is actually why I do what I do because folks, nobody's born knowing this stuff, right? And it shouldn't be this complicated, right? Technology should just work for us, but that's not where we're at yet. Hopefully someday. Um, and because this is my day job and because I live in this world, it, it's my day job. It's my hobby. I love technology. I get into all of the weeds on this kind of stuff. Um, and that's why I do this show. That's why I have my business because people in my family, my friends, my coworkers, my neighbors, and then those extended folks and connections um, will come to me because they have questions. And a lot of the times they're embarrassed. And that's why I started doing this because nobody should be embarrassed about not knowing this stuff. It's confusing as hell, right? And I'm gonna cover this, you know, so that you understand the basics of it. You could spend the rest of your life getting into the weeds of just all these variations, but you really don't need to. So just keep that in mind that, you know, if you have a question, you can always reach out to me here. Don't be shy about it. It's what I do. And we all have our specialties. This is mine. Okay. So you have your device, you have your cable, the connector, right, on both ends, and then you have your computer. Let's talk about what these things can do, right? So it used to be that if you were going to hook up a monitor, you had to have a monitor cable, right? And if you're going to hook up a hard drive, you might need a hard drive cable and all these different combinations. So the beauty of going to USB is what it stands for, right? It's, it's universal. And the idea is that you can have one port and one type of cable in theory, um, and be able to do all these things with it. All these things means, you know, you've got the connector, which is the USB C that's the part you're plugging in. And then you would be able to do file transfers. You would be able to power a device. You would be able to do video. You would be able to do audio. Um, maybe you'd be able to use it as a, a GPU, a graphics connection. Um, it used to be, oh, and that you could get HDR for um, your, your video connection. It used to be that you couldn't do all of these things on both versions, right? So for a while, Thunderbolt was way out in front. You, you, the USB 4 has kind of evened that out. Uh, there are a couple of small differences, but right now with USB 4 or Thunderbolt, 
okay obviously you can connect it to your connect computer and you connect devices to your computer um, you can do file transfers you can do video out you can do audio uh, and you can do um, HDR in most cases um, and you can use it for power again you're gonna want to check right your version and the device you're using to see whether or not it needs it because even though you can get power over just as an example you can get power over the USB connector some devices like hubs or hard drives may still need external power in order to work because they are so power hungry so you could get a certain amount of power out of this right like let's like I'm right now I'm charging my phone via USB-C right because the phone doesn't need to pull that much power but I have a couple of hubs here um, if I was going to maybe go to a monitor I'd probably still plug my monitor into power and just use the USB connection to get the signal from my computer to my monitor so it's not an absolute it's not like you never ever have to plug anything in again for power it's going to depend on your needs and the needs of the particular device that you're connecting to where there is a big difference is in speed so that is the one thing where Thunderbolt is still way out in front um, depending on the version of USB-C that uh, USB that you're using um, for other devices and computers it can be you know twice to four times as fast to use a Thunderbolt connection now where is that important in most cases for most of us in the real world right that really only matters when it comes to hard drives and even then it really only matters if you're moving big files back and forth to an external drive so you know let's say for example maybe you're doing um, video editing right that that's a big thing um, then it would matter because you do want that extra speed uh, when you're moving those kinds of files otherwise it can take a day and a half to move things like it was back in the olden days um, other than that the playing field is mostly level right now you do like I said, like I said at the beginning you're going to need to read all the specs carefully when you're buying a new computer or when you're buying you know some sort of an accessory if you're plugging in a hub or an extra hard drive or an extra monitor you're going to want to read everything because that's the other area where this where the, the Thunderbolt has a bit of an advantage and that is with USB 4 you can connect one monitor um, to your computer with Thunderbolt you can connect two as long as you're not trying to do AK if you're doing AK then you still are, are restricted to one now the next question that comes up for most people is okay well I only have one Thunderbolt port on my computer how do I connect up two computers uh, two monitors for that you would need to get a splitter which is something you can find in any electronic store or on your you know favorite online store or whatever um, so basically it's it's got one USB-C connector on one end and then on the other end it has two and that's the only trick to that kind of a thing um, but that is the other thing where it does make a difference okay so it's a difference between one or two there are some minor differences if you want to daisy chain so what daisy chain means is you have a device um, and then you're going to connect so like let's say that you've got your computer connected to your monitor and your monitor has ports on it so then you can connect something else to it right and then maybe you connect that to a, a hub and then that hub can connect to other things so daisy chain is this idea of having a single connection to a device and then having other things connect to that device off of that um, that is something that in most cases is a yes with Thunderbolt uh, 4 with USB 4 uh, it is mostly a yes but it depends on different combinations of things so again it's always worth trying you're not going to damage anything by giving it a try um, but if it doesn't work that I just that would probably be why and you'll probably just need to come up you know if you need to do some more connections you take one USB-C connected to a USB hub and then you get much many more ports out of it something like that so that is your basic differences let me just run through my list here make sure that I'm getting all the stuff because I am nothing without my bullet lists I think I got most of it okay so that that the unmarked ports the speed okay so yes I did cover everything okay awesome so at the end of the day you're gonna mostly be able to rely on whether or not it's got the little lightning bolt or it's got the little tree but that is not a hundred percent so if you're not sure 
Uh, when it comes to cables, it most of the time it's not on there, although that picture I showed you, I did finally find two that actually had it on. If they're going to have it, it'll, it'll be on this part of it usually. Um, but I, I went through like a handful of my cables and none of them are marked. So if you're not sure, if, it, if it's a question of whether or not your, your cable is right, to be honest, sometimes it's just easier to just go buy a new one. They're not super expensive. And then you can like research and read the, the, the specs on it and see, is it Thunderbolt 4? Is it USB 4? You know, and, and get into, okay, is it going to do what I need it to do? Um, as far as devices go, that's where you're going to have a little bit more luck where they might be marked um, with either the lightning bolt or the tree. But again, not 100%. So the, the rule of thumb is if the lightning bolt is there, it's Thunderbolt. If it's not there, it may or may not be, <laughs> okay? If the tree is on there, it's USB-C, not Thunderbolt, and at least you know that. If it, there's nothing there, it could be either, and you'll have to test to see. All right, let me just check and see. Um, so, uh, Tyler, I hope that that answered your question about how to check. Hi, Lyle. Hi, hi Sammy. Um, so, yeah, so unfortunately, the answer is maybe. Um, it may be on here, you know, on the end. Uh, he was asking about how do you tell when you just grab a cable, um, might be here. Sometimes there's something written on the cord itself. That's really rare, but it's always worth looking. Um, but when in doubt, try it. You know, worst comes to worst, it won't work, <laughs> and then you'll know. Um, but I, you won't hurt anything. And if you really, really, you know, need it, then you and you're sure that your device is, you know, Thunderbolt, then you can go ahead and, you know, go get yourself a Thunderbolt cable as long as your computer also has a Thunderbolt. Um, if it's just USB and you're sure that your computer is using USB 4, then make sure you just go and get a USB 4 cable and then that should solve all the problems for you. All right, everybody, that's what I've got for you. Uh, USB is wonderful in many ways because we're not having to keep flipping it back and forth. Um, but you know, like everything else in technology, there's always something that gets a little murky and that this is the, the Thunderbolt USB-C thing is what it is. Um, but yes, to anybody who, you know, wants to argue the point, whether it is USB or Thunderbolt, it's still a USB-C connector. The connector is the same. Now, yes, inside the connector, sometimes you'll see little extra pieces to it. That's a whole other discussion um, because that actually happens on both sides. We won't get into that one. I wonder, I wonder if you can see that on this one. You're not going to be able to see that on the camera. Um, but again, we're having a high level conversation. Let's just keep it there, <laughs> okay? All right, everybody. Um, as always, feel free to reach out if you have any questions, if you have suggestions for a show, if you need help with something, you reach me on yourtechcoach.net. There is a contact form there. Um, and if you are a content provider, and most of us are on some way, um, please help yourself to this. It's a free ebook of 130 uh, topic ideas. It's great for those times when you just hit the wall and you cannot... <laughs> come up with a topic, but you need to post something. Um, so it's free. Just go ahead and uh, hit that URL and uh, help yourself to that because um, I use it all the time. I built, I made it for me. It, I just found out that it was helpful to other people. So I put it out there. Um, oh, Lyle. Oh, thank you for the, Lyle is so nice. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. And, and thank you for the, the like. I appreciate that too. I, I'm glad it was helpful. It is a topic that comes up a lot. And uh, again, my whole thing is don't feel bad because <laughs> nobody grows up knowing this stuff, right? You don't wake up one morning with all this information in your head. So please never hesitate to reach out with questions because that's what I do. Um, that's what I'm here for. It gives me a purpose in life. All right, everybody. I am here every Thursday at 8 p.m. Um, Eastern time. Uh, you are always welcome to come and hang out. Uh, you can also come and ask questions. If you are catching the show on a replay, go ahead and put your comments and questions on whatever platform you're watching on. I do go back and answer those as quickly as I can, quickly as relative, depending on what's going on in life. Thank you so much. I will see you next week. Have a good one. Bye. Ooh, sorry. Bye. <laughs>